Let me show you the top 10 AI tools that have been completely life-changing for me and I think you'll find them really useful. And these are not gonna be the ones like ChatGPT or MidJourney that you may have heard of before, but these are really powerful too. First on the list is Pictory AI, and Pictory is an AI video creation platform and it has two really life-changing aspects to it. One is, it could turn any script, basically any text you give it, into an entire video using AI. You could use this for your business, you could use it for content creation, ton of different use cases. And the way it works is you just upload text and Pictory finds the video clips and it will generate even AI voiceover, create subtitles and captions, even resize your content for any platform from vertical to horizontal. And it has this other thing called edit videos with text. Basically, you give it a video file, it will turn it into text, transcribe what's in the video, but then all you have to do is edit the text file itself, and then it will make those edits to the video. So you could do video editing without ever actually touching the video file, you do it with text. Next on the list is Mixo, and Mixo could create you an entire website, a professional website in just one click. It will take your text prompt, and it will create a complete website that has a name, it has a logo, it has different text, it has sections to it, it finds the images for you, it even adds an opt-in form for people to opt into your newsletter, for example. And what's great about this is you could actually try this and see the end result before even signing up for an account or even paying a single dollar. Very, very cool creating professional websites with text. Next on the list is Canva, but the Canva AI, the design platform now has lots of different AI tools. They're rolling into it. They've been around for a long time as a very popular design platform for creating all kinds of different graphics and different elements for design. But now they have different AI tools. One of them is text to image where you could just type in text, create an image that doesn't exist using AI and then use that in your design. They also have AI talking avatars and they're releasing new AI tools in the Canvas suite all the time. Next on the list is from Microsoft. Microsoft Designer is an AI powered design app and it could turn any text prompt into a professional design. All you have to do is ask it what you want to be designed and it will take care of the rest and everything is fully customizable. So you could change the text, you could change the background, the videos, the audio, Everything inside of the design is fully customizable and it could create stationary design like pamphlets and flyers, but it could design elements for your website like a banner with moving video to as your background. And every design that the AI creates is completely customizable from text to the pictures to the videos. And Designer also has text to image generator built into it so you could describe anything you want to see with a text prompt and it will output a picture and you could use that picture in your design and you could change the size of your design too in the beginning or at the end so you could use that same design across a bunch of different platforms. Runway is an entire creative suite of products so there's lots of different things you could do with Runway but they first really came on the scene with their text to video generator probably the best on the market right now but all you do is give it a text prompt and it will create a video in any style that you want basically it could create any visual element from a text prompt not just images it does have text to images but some of the more useful things that i've tested out is the video to video option where you give it a normal looking video and you could turn that into any type of style of video and they do have a free trial and they have a limit on how much you get from their free trial but it is very, very interesting to play around with. And you get access to their entire creative suite. So you could test out a bunch of different things. They have things like a quick background remover from your video files. They have an audio cleanup function. Again, they have all the different text to visual creation, like text to image, text to video, video to video. Really powerful tool for creators of all kinds. Next on the list is Adobe and they created something called Firefly. And that is an AI art generator. And Adobe is the creator of Photoshop, so they know how these type of tools work. Firefly could create really realistic photos with a text prompt. It could also generate really high quality animated text, again, with a text prompt. And it could basically turn sketches into vector files if you're some kind of a designer. That's how you would create a logo. Very powerful options. And they recently also showed a video on Adobe Firefly video, which could do a lot of powerful things with video like editing your video automatically using just text prompts as well and it could even generate storyboards from a script next is did and did is a talking ai avatar generator 
and it could actually create the visual and the audio too. So you just give it some text, it creates a visual avatar, and it will speak the text from your script. It's really, really interesting. So you got voice and you got video with an AI talking avatar, and you could choose lots of different avatars from their list, and they have lots of different voices too to choose from. They're all AI generated voices, but they sound pretty realistic from all the different ones I've tested out. Next on the list is Rewind AI, and Rewind is designed to basically make sure you never forget anything you do on your computer. It basically records all the activities that you do on your computer, like watching videos, browsing documents, emailing, and then it uses AI to make everything you've done searchable. So everything you've seen, said, or heard is searchable using ChatGPT powered AI. Now Rewind is only currently available on Mac computers with the Apple chips, so the M1, the M2 chips, but I'm assuming they're gonna roll this out to a lot more, but with those chips, it makes it really easy to compress the video files to be really small, and they're locally stored on your computer, so you have no privacy issues. It doesn't ever get uploaded somewhere else, so it's just searchable, but stored in your local computer where you could delete it at any time. Next is Blockage Labs, and Blockage Labs basically creates entire virtual spaces or virtual worlds with just text. You describe the world you wanna see, then you choose a style from all the different types of styles they have, and it generates it just in one click, and you could look around in a 360 view, and then you could zoom into different parts of it with your mouse, and then if you like it, you could download it and share your creation too. And if you don't like your first design, you could just remix it or generate a new one just in one click. Really interesting. Last but not least, we have Agent GPT. And this AI tool is similar to ChatGPT, but it could do something ChatGPT just can't do. It is powered by ChatGPT, but it runs on autopilot and it's all web-based. So you don't have to download anything fancy. There's something called AutoGPT. This is basically a web version of AutoGPT. This is what it does. You could assign it any goal that you want to achieve, okay? And it will work towards that goal by coming up with the to-do list for itself. And it will try to implement those tasks and then it will try to learn from whatever result that task gave it and then think of new tasks and it will just keep running and running. It's really interesting. Basically, when you ask ChatGPT a question, it's gonna give you an answer and then you could follow up, but you have to come up with what you're gonna follow up with. Agent GPT thinks of the follow up on its own. It basically creates and asks itself tasks and subtasks in order to achieve that first goal that you gave it. So you could pause it at any time, but it will run as long as it needs to to try to achieve that goal. Extremely powerful tool and it's available to everyone online. I have a lot of deep walkthroughs on a lot of these tools, so I'll put a link in the description to a resource if you want to dive deeper. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time.